Hello, my name is Ioan Zizoglu and in this tutorial we're going to take step a step further from the maths, my maths simple game. What we are going to do, we are going to apply a timer onto this game to make it a bit more challenging. Okay, in order to do this, we need to add another label. I'm going to change the text to be five seconds so this will be the challenge so five seconds uh, I'm going to change the name of my label to LBL uh, my time I'm going to change the phone size to 20 Okay, also I will need to add another button. This button will be a refresh button. I'm going to rename this button. So for the name, I'm going to call it VTN Refresh. For the text, I'm going to remove the text. I'm going to scroll to the top, I'm going to go to the background image, I'm going to click on the three dots, I'm going to select import, I'm going to go to a website, iconfinder.com, and I'm going to type refresh. Let's select, select this button here. I'm going to download the PNG, show in folder, copy, and I'm going to paste on my new folder number 10. Now we are here, let's get some more uh, pictures. I'm just going to type here uh, button. Make sure the free option is selected. Let's find a button. Okay, I'll select that one. I'm going to download this button. Show in folder. I'm going to copy this. Let's see if we're going to actually find a yellow button. Uh, I'll select that one. Let's put this button here. in folder, copy, let's paste it here, okay, let's find another picture here for the maths, let's call it Pac-Man, see if we can find Let's download the PNG and let's download the icon. Show in folder. Let's copy this too. Paste it here. Okay. Let's minimize this. Let's go back to my project. I can import now uh, the refresh button. Okay. Let's make it a bit bigger here. Yeah more square. I'm going to go to my properties panel, expand on my background image. I'm going to change the background image layout to stretch. I'm going to change the flat appearance to zero borders. Flat style. I'm going to change it to flat. will do. Okay. Next, I'm going to replace the submit button. Let's delete the text. The picture downloaded before, so background image. I'm going to import this picture. I'm 
I'm gonna make sure that the background image option is expanded. I'm gonna background image layout. I'll change that to stretched. Flat appearance. I'll change the border to zero. And the flat style. I'm gonna change that to flat. will do. Now I'm gonna just put a picture box here. I click play here. I'm gonna choose an image. The image is that one here. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that it's stretched. Going to change the background color of my form so with the form selected to scroll to the top and start scrolling down so back color i'm going to select web let's use let's try this oh too yellow This will do. With the form selected, it's going to change the default icon. So I have my icon here. I'm going to make sure that this label selected is uh, is hidden, is invisible. So change the visibility settings to false. Okay, it is false. That's fine. Okay. So I've got everything in place now. So the next thing I need to do, uh, actually, I need to, uh, one more uh, tool to apply, to add. It's going to be a timer. So I'm going to click and drag a timer onto my form. The timer has uh, 100 as an interval. By default, I'm going to change this to 1000. 1000 is equivalent to one second. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the timer is enabled automatically as soon as the form loads uh, I'm going to leave the default name which is timer1 and I'm ready now to put some code so what I'm going to do is double click on my timer and on my timer just above the timer I'm going to create an, a variable I'm going to call it time left is equals to 5 seconds now this is up to you how long you want to give uh, each question. Uh, then I will create an if statement. I will say if time left is greater than zero. If that's true, I want something to happen. Otherwise, what else? I want something else to happen. So I'll just create my if statement structure. So if my timer is uh, time left is greater than zero, by default start with five. Then I will say btn submit dot enable equals true. Semicolon to end my statement. Time left is equals to time left minus one. So it will basically start counting down uh, minus one. So from five will become four, three, two, one. And then I will say LBL time my time uh, dot text is it oops text is equals to time left plus then I'm going to put in, sp in quotes space seconds semicolon to end my statement. So my label, my time dot text, this label will be the time left plus the word seconds. So 
you can see I've got space in between the time left and seconds so that's why my space is there, I put capital S ok next I will say btn refresh dot visible equals false so I don't want the btn refresh button to be visible otherwise so once we hit the zero so as long as it's greater than zero this will be all, all right this is what is going to be happening if it's le if it's no greater than zero the time left i'm going to say btn submit dot enable equals false so i'm going to remove the the button will the user will not be able he will no longer be able to press the button then I'm going to say btn refresh dot visible equals true so I'm going to make sure oops btn refresh dot visible equals true so I'm going to make sure that people will be able to click on the refresh button and then I will also say lbl lbl message dot text is equals to sorry you run out of time okay the next thing I need to do is double click on the refresh button and I'm gonna my form is called form one so I'm going to say form one as f1 is equals to new form one open close bracket semicolon my statement f1 dot show open close bracket semicolon my statement this dot hide open close bracket semicolon my statement so by doing this when you click on the refresh button the current form will hide a new form will be created on the fly the same form actually and then it's gonna show the form let's test that so the countdown is there the refresh button shows but this button it doesn't matter if I click it let's we need to change this location here I'm just gonna make my the button instead of actually say submit button enable equals false let's change the visibility visible equals false so we're gonna basically hide the button so don't want, don't want to even be able to see it so what we need to do we need to bring this little guy here so it's not going to interfere with our message let's try so for as you can see when we actually run it by default we can see this so what I'm going to do I'm going to select this and by default I'll change the visibility settings to false it's running now so we cannot see it now four three two one zero now this is visible this is invisible so we cannot submit our answer sorry you run out of time if I click here I'm hiding the current form and the new form opens so 7 plus 7 14 if I click here as you can see I have a problem here despite the fact that I've answered the, correct, the answer correctly the message still changed this is because when I submit my answer I need to make sure the timer will stop so let's close that let's go here let's go back to the code view so what I'm gonna do on my if statement when the answer is correct let's go back here to set if the answer is correct show me this so what I'm going to do oops, 
Stopper project. I'm going to press the enter key here on the if statement. If the answer is the correct answer, I'm going to say timer one dot stop. Open close bracket semicolon to my statement. So if I run the project again, 9 plus 9, 18. If I click, well done. The time, as you can see, has stopped. Now, this is how you apply timer onto your game. Uh, and this is how you stop in the timer. That, that's how you control in the timer. That's how you add in icons and you change in the default buttons as well. Hopefully you've learned something new today. Thank you for watching.